Hello everyone and welcome back. As you saw from the title, I have a new micro to build. This one is the Flex RC Frog. And what do you know, it looks like a frog. Let's get it out. This is how it came, by the way. I ordered this directly from the uh, Flex RC website, uh, which is at flexrc.com forward slash product forward slash frog dash frame. That will get you directly to the quad. There are a couple of different options to buy. You can buy the 2mm, the 2.5mm, and the 3mm base plate. And I believe he now has all those available from his site. Previously, only the 3mm version was available from Armaton. Or Armatan. This is a little clearer picture of what the little guy looks like. Well, let's turn around this way so you can see that. Flex RC looks pretty good. Uh, the machining all looks, we've got a little nick there. Might have had a little bit of a dull tool there or something. A little bit there as well, if you can see that. That nick right down there by my thumb. Maybe that way you get enough light. But overall it looks pretty good. And I like that it's so small. Uh, this will be just two millimeters wider than the my current favorite picnic quad. Uh, which is a brushed frame. Uh, in the kit comes more Ziploc bags. We have our top plate, our nylon screws, our standoffs, pretty much standard bits and pieces. Um, the key feature of this frame, as the designer puts it, is that you can use different sizes or types of VTX. Um, it seems to be that his experience with building these micros of this size you were really tied to using specific parts um, and in the pictures he actually has a VTX where the dip switches come up right through here I don't have any VTX's with dip switches so when I build this I don't think mine will fit quite as neatly up through there I will maybe have to work something else out but you can see we've got a notch for our antenna to come through and then we can use a zip tie through here to secure the antenna to the uh, back of the top plate uh, so let's do this. Let's weigh it. Are you zeroed yet? There you go. 20.3 is just the bottom plate. Now, a little surprise for you. I also have the 3, three millimeter version, which came from Armaton or Armatan. Um, so let's get this out. Oh, it looks like I'm going to need my knife. Unfortunately, uh, when my product came, the top plate, which is checked on this packing slip, did not actually come in the package. And I sent them an email and they said they would cut one and send me one. But this one took a month to get here, so I don't know how long it's going to be before I see that top plate. So obviously, if I'm going to be building this anytime soon, I'm going to be building with a mishmash of parts. Either I use a three millimeter plate, which I have here, and bring in the top plate that I got with the 2.5 millimeter version. But let's compare. I, I don't know who did the CNC cutting for the uh, designer for this uh, 2.5 millimeter version, which I got directly from his website. And then we have the three millimeter version one. And you can see that the carbon is different. And quite honestly, the one from Armaton looks better. Let's compare these two plates. Can you see that? This bottom plate, well, maybe it's the same here. I just didn't have it. They're really, really close. And the machining on this Armaton one looks really good. I don't see any imperfections. Yeah, it looks good. So then you get a little picture of the base plates and the thickness differences. It's not a whole lot. It's only half a millimeter. But let's go back to the weight. 20.4 this time, 20.5. Oh, we weren't zeroed out. Let's reset. 20.3 for the 2.5 millimeter version. 
22.8 for the 3 millimeter version. So we got about 2 grams difference. Let's put that away. Get the digital calipers. Hopefully they will cooperate this time around. Bingo, there we go. And we're zero. Alright, let's see what this says. Boy, 399. That's pretty much right on the nose. Make sure we're still zeroed. 2.51. Good. They're both very, 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 very close. Alright, let's measure. Bring this back into shot. Now, without the motors actually mounted on here, we won't be, be able to actually measure from center post to center post, but we'll get it close. So it does look like it's 122, just like advertised. Let's try the Armaton one. I'm sure it's the same. They have top-notch products. Yep. So they both do actually come out to be the measurement that they are touted to be. The carbon fiber looks a little bit different on the Armaton one. You do not get the lifetime warranty on this. When you buy products that are designed by other designers, you don't get the same warranty on the product as you do from Armaton Design Quads. Um, these do come at a premium, and if you get with tracking, I think I spent $41 for this one from Armaton, and I think this one was about $32. i will uh, put those prices right up there. So the next thing would be to uh, build one of these up. I think I'm just going to see how tough this 25 millimeter is. Because <laughs> with my flight skills, it's likely to get put to the test. So let's build this up and take a look. Alright, so we have it already in its final state. Uh, it's worth noting that you're going to need to have some standoffs. Uh, the ones that come in the kit um, don't necessarily make... I couldn't assemble this with the standoffs that were included and actually have the top plate to where it was level. Um, so I have some nylon standoffs, some male female, some female female, and I use those. And I also put this uh, Diatone Mini PDB in here. Um, this is the standard size uh, holes for mounting, say, a naze or something like that. I don't plan on using a naze just because I have a mini CCV, a mini CC3D laying around. So I'm probably just going to use that. I might stick a piece of plastic in here and put that on top or adjust these. Um, some of the things that uh, I noticed when building it is the screws all have a nice uh, polish or finish to them. Um, I also like the fact that we have these fingers out here and so that will protect our motors from any direct impact. That will also likely eliminate any need to have any 3D printed parts or, or um, add-ons, accessories. Um, the top plate and the bottom plate have numerous holes in them for various configurations whether it's to zip down your VTX or to zip tie down your um, antenna which is probably what I'm going to do is I'm just going to curve my antenna up through here and then zip tie it here um, you could also I think I don't have one but I'll see about getting one an 808 keychain camera might fit up here real nicely um, you know I think it's about the right size um, you can also tell here on the bottom plate these holes that you have are for mounting a camera kit and you don't necessarily have to use the uh, long nose or the, the, the Pico camera that has the long nose on it to stick out through here because you've, you've actually got a pretty good amount of clearance um, so you can mount one of those rings. Hold on, I think I have one. Let me check. So I do have a couple of those. Uh, let's see which one fits. I'm sure this one was probably what it was designed for and yeah it surely was. Uh, you can clip that right in there and then you can angle your camera. So you've got several different mounting places that you can put this. It looks like it's the hole is made for this actual mounting so uh, be able to use this and you can lean your camera back. Boy pretty heavy. I mean that's you could even go further than that if you had those sort of skills. Um, this one I don't know if this one will fit. No, nope, doesn't go in there so this is that doesn't surprise me, but this is uh, also a diatone mount, but it's for a larger camera. Um, I think these are 12 millimeter cameras. They fit right down inside of here. 
So that's where your camera go. But uh, down here to the bottom, you also have a number of uh, cutouts. You have uh, a cutout to where you can mount your uh, power lead right here. You can either zip tie the wire down if you want the end to come out or the connector can be right here. It's going to be pretty short, but you know, it's, it's doable. We have to expect things to be pretty tight if we want to build something that's brushless and this small. You also have all these different cutouts down here so you can mount your battery. You can use your uh, Velcro strap through here. Um, for a 3S, we're probably going to be using these outer edge ones. You probably might be able to use this one right here. Let me get something to point with. So you're probably going to be using either these or this one. I can't see a battery that's that small being worth flying, but possibly there might be, you know, some specific motor and battery setup out there that works great for that. Um, so these uh, hole mounts are made for 1105 uh, or 1306 motors. I'm not sure if the 1407s will look a mount or not. Um, and I did notice that um, the holes on these, I was a little bit surprised that the stem hole was a little bit smaller and I'm not sure why that is so um, hopefully that won't have a, a big impact but it looks pretty cool and I really like the fact that it looks like a frog um, especially because I'm gonna be going with green I wonder if I should find some green marker and oil paint this thing around the edge maybe I don't know I don't know if I have the patience to sit through that um, the one thing I was worried about when I saw this was the weak points would seem to be right here where the arms uh, bend but they, they are kind of gradual so they should actually be pretty okay and the material didn't get any thinner right here so it shouldn't be an issue with that um, hopefully it'll be fine but I have that three millimeter plate I can go to if I happen to crash and snap this one and if I do snap it all uh, update this this uh, video with a, an annotation or something in the description letting you know that I successfully was able to break it but uh, I can't imagine with this thing coming in well under 200 grams to be able to get enough speed and to hit you know with enough inertia in order to snap this stuff off you know 2.5 millimeter plate um, that's going to be pretty rigid I know there's not a lot of information out about this. I think um, the designer himself has posted a few uh, videos. He's got another frame that he designed as well. Um, on YouTube you can fly, find him with the Flex RC is the name that the designer goes by. Um, and he has a recommended parts list which you can also look at and I'll put the link to uh, his web shop as well as the RC Group posting and the Armaton web shop listing so you can take a good look at all that information. Um, and if you're curious, this PDB is just a mini diatone, and I can link that one. It does have a 5 volt. Can you see that down there? Let's see if I can get a peek through that window. This is the 12 volt side. That's the 5 volt side. So I could uh, power my camera and BTX off the PDB um, if I needed to. Um, so next up, I will be doing a build video on this. Um, in the fashion that I do and then we'll have the exciting time of taking it for a flight. Alright, like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys later.